The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches which are happening on Friday, August 20th, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Kansas City Royals vs Chicago Cubs the Chicago Cubs have been a mediocre offensive unit this season, as their .703 team ops is good for 20th in MLB so far. Kansas City will open the series with right-hander Brad Keller, who is trying to finish the 2021 season strong after an up-and-down year. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. New York Mets vs Los Angeles Dodgers The Dodgers play their ace on Friday, Walker Bueller. The right-hander is 12-2 on the season with a 2.09 ERA and 24 starts. In his last outing, he got a no decision in a 2-1 win over the Mets in 10 innings. The offense has never been the strongest for the Mets this year, but once the pitching dropped off, the lack of run support quickly rose to the forefront. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 8.5. Philadelphia Phillies vs San Diego Padres the Philadelphia Phillies found themselves trailing by one entering the bottom of the seventh, but a five-run frame by Arizona doomed the Phillies as they fell, 6-2. Zach Wheeler had looked spectacular, allowing one run to the first six innings, but was blitzed in the seventh. His team did rally for a single run over the final two frames, but it was far too little. The lefty has tossed to an ERA above six and a whip approaching 1.50. In early July, he was pushed to the bullpen for a couple of appearances before starting again against the Reds last Saturday. My betting advice for that game is to pick under 8.5. San Francisco Giants vs Oakland Athletics. The A's ended their four-game losing streak in their last game with a 5-4 win over the Chicago White Sox, where Matt Olson hit a two-run HR in the seventh inning. The Giants continue to dominate the major leagues, winning nine out of their last 11 games overall. They also beat the A's in two of three meetings in June. I especially like this matchup considering A's rookie starter James Caprielian is on the hill. The right-hander has squandered 11 runs on 18 hits in his last three outings spread across only 15.2 innings. My betting advice for that game is to pick under 8.5. Arizona Diamondbacks vs Colorado Rockies. Colorado will be missing the playoffs this season. They've been fairly average on offense, but their pitching ranks bottom 10 in most categories. Philadelphia Phillies in impressive fashion on the road. Those last three words are the biggest takeaway from that sentence. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 11.5. Pittsburgh Pirates vs St. Louis Cardinals. The Pirates only mustered one run in the first two games combined in the last series tilt between these two teams. So McCullough should ease back into the rotation nicely against a struggling offense at Bush Stadium. Brian Reynolds has 21 home runs, a .388 on-base percentage, and a .530 slugging percentage, while Gregory Polanco has 11 home runs, the rest of the lineup has struggled. My betting advice for that game is to pick under 8.5. Minnesota Twins vs New York Yankees. New York is averaging 4.24 runs per game. Their .237 batting average is 19th in the league. Their .327 on base percentage is 7th, while their .395 slugging percentage is 22nd. Barnes didn't factor in the decision in his last start, which came at home against Tampa Bay Sunday. My betting advice for that game is to pick under 10.5. Quick reminder, you can get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook Bet US after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES when making your deposit. Washington Nationals vs Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers lefty had allowed three runs or fewer in seven straight starts and should be able to get back on track against the Nationals in his spot. Anderson isn't known for fanning batters at a higher rate. Instead, he gets the job done by keeping the ball on the ground and inducing weak contact. 
the veteran left-hander has posted a healthy 58.7% ground ball rate in 2021. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 8. Seattle Mariners vs Houston Astros. Kikuchi didn't factor in the decision in his last start, which came at home Saturday against the Blue Jays. Luckily for the Astros, Thursday afternoon's win in extras snapped a four-game losing streak, although they still lost three of four to the Royals. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 8.5. Miami Marlins vs Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati got off to a nice start in this series, picking up a 6-1 win on Thursday. The Reds are now just one game back of San Diego for the second NL wild card spot. They are nine games back of Milwaukee in the NL Central standings. Cincinnati ranks fifth in the MLB with a team batting average of .253. Gray gave up a run in the fourth inning and was lifted in the ensuing frame after issuing a bases loaded walk to Bryce Harper and surrendering a sacrifice fly to Didi Gregorius. My betting advice for that game is to pick under eight. Los Angeles Angels vs Cleveland Indians. Sam Hedges is expected to get the start at the mound. He has a 1-4 record this season with a league-high 7.95 ERA and 48 innings pitched. Both the Angels and the Indians have battled injuries throughout the season, but the Angels just come and riding a bit more momentum than the Indians. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 9.5. Texas Rangers vs Boston Red Sox. Center fielder Atlas Garcia is leading the Rangers as he has a .762 ops with 26 home runs and 70 RBI, while stealing 8 bases in 12 attempts. If Texas can figure out how to hit at a decent clip, they can continue to take steps in the right direction to be competitive. Its offense has been the strength of the team all season, ranking third in the MLB, with a team batting average of .259. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 9. Atlanta Braves vs Baltimore Orioles. Cedric Mullins has at least one base hit in all but two games this month. The 26-year-old leadoff hitter is hitting .276 on the month and is up to 21 homers along with 42 RBIs and a dazzling .912 ops on the year. Mullins has 20 steals to go with his 21 big flies. The Atlanta Braves are playing without their best overall hitter of the season Ronald Acuna Jr., but others have stepped up and are helping the Braves stretch their lead atop the National League East. Freddie Freeman hit for the cycle on Wednesday for the second time as a player for the Braves, and the first baseman leads Atlanta in home runs with 27 and batting average at .301. My betting advice for that game is to pick over. Detroit Tigers vs Toronto Blue Jays. The Tigers have been an above-average offense for a number of weeks now after a terrible start, bringing their season numbers to 4.35 runs per game with a 0.705 team ops. The Blue Jays have been one of the more consistent teams in terms of offensive production through the first four months of the year. Coming into play on Thursday afternoon, they rank top five in runs, batting average, home runs, and slugging percentage. My betting advice for that game is to pick over nine. Chicago White Sox vs Tampa Bay Rays. The Tampa Bay Rays are coming off a four-game sweep of the Baltimore Orioles and are leading the AL East with a 75-47 record so far. If the White Sox can stay healthy, this lineup can be considered one of the deepest in the game. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.